Wormwood, Road of the Dead, an exploitation film which many critics have said takes the likes of Mad Max and Dawn of the Dead and combines them together into a fantastic over-the-top mess. And they are partly right. The movie is actually lots of silly, over-the-top fun. It's highly enjoyable to watch from start to finish, though it does take a bit of time to get its motor running. At first, it kind of fumbles the story a bit by starting off in media res with a really nice sequence of the protagonists fighting off a horde of zombies trying to get to a ute, and then it goes to them talking about their origins, and then it cuts to a different character we haven't seen before, a woman named Brooke, and it just gets confusing, but after it gets beyond that and actually gets into a linear narrative fashion, it actually starts to make sense, and really starts to come together into something enjoyable. And enjoyable it is. This is a one hell of a fantastically gore-fueled joyride. And easily inspired by, as the before mentioned, Mad Max and Dawn of the Dead, and arguably the early 2000s comedy movie Road Trip. <laughs> Given how macho, over the top everything is. I mean, there's one scene where a character heals himself with a medical kit for beer. And I think one good reason why this movie has gotten so much praise is actually due to the fact that it's actually very refreshing. The whole thing is just dripping with absurd amounts of Australian humour and flavour. Like, there's nothing really there to cater to, say, an American audience. I mean, the ending is happy, but it's also very satisfying and revenge-filled, with a little bit of tragedy thrown in. And surprisingly, this actually has an original take on zombies. The idea being is that it's a two-fold apocalypse. Not only is there zombies, but there's also a Mad Max-style apocalypse where all gasoline, kerosene, and diesel fuel is essentially useless, but the protagonists discover during the day that the zombies produce a gas that can function as an equally potent fuel source. Unfortunately, at night, the zombies stop breathing the gas and they start using it themselves as steroids. So during the day, you got slow, dumb zombies, but during the night, you got fast, dumb zombies. Oh dear. Unfortunately, though, the zombie concept is really underused and only comes into play during one key scene, which is a result of the movie's 90-minute runtime, and it really doesn't do anything outside of being an over-the-top, uh, gory exploitation film. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but during the scenes where they try to have an emotional moment or a kind of scene of character development that isn't like, say, I shot my wife and daughter with a nail gun scene, then it just feels out of place. The only other real problem is uh, the actual effects. Unlike Mad Max, uh, Dawn of the Dead, they don't really rely too much on practical effects. Unlike the contemporary exploitation films, this one uses some pretty cheap CGI effects that in all honesty, even I could recreate with the right assets in Adobe After Effects. Once you start noticing that, it really hurts the suspension of disbelief. All that aside, it is a very satisfying exploitation film. If you're a lover of such exploitation flicks as The Turkey Shoot, Razorback, or even the much more well-known Mad Max, then by all means, go give it a watch. You're gonna love it. But if you don't like those sorts of movies, well, you can just go away, Nancy.